Hey guys, what's up? So this is very small video I'm going to make. How to clone my project from my Git location? Okay, it is one of the simplest one. I every alternate day I get a mail saying that people are not able to clone my repository. They are not able to use it. So okay, let me thought let me make a video. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. I'll tell you how you can do that. Assume that. This is my Git repository. Okay, these are my repository. I have around nine repositories here. Okay, assume that this repository I want to clone and I want to use it. So click on that. When you click on that, you click on clone and copy this URL. So copy this URL, come to Eclipse, right click, go to import. Okay, and here just type git git, then take project from git. Okay, did you get what I did? Right click, import, just type git project from git next clone URI next. Automatically, everything will come here. Okay, you don't need to type, automatically, it will come. Do next, then do next. Then it will say that this is not empty directory because you know, maybe in my, uh, in my system I have this. So, let me go and read that better. So that I can show you guys like how uh, I can do that. Otherwise, again, you will not be able to see that. And again, you know, I'll receive a lot of email. So let me this time do it from the scratch. So uh, what is the framework name? The framework, yeah, this is the one. So let me move the trash. Come back. Again, go next next so automatically if you look at it says that cloning to that okay cloning to that and in your case when you are doing first time you import as a general project okay you check this check button this uh, radio button whatever you are seeing that you check that okay you import as a general project and then i will tell you what you can do that so you just check this import as general project click on next and click on finish so you can see that see here this project got added here. Then what you do? Do a right click on the project. Go to the configure. Convert Maven project. Okay. Convert to a Maven project. Right click. Configure. Convert to a Maven project. Then what you do? Again do right click. Go to run as. And click on Maven install. So what happens? It will download all the dependency. Whatever my project has. Automatically it will download. Okay, so in my system, I have already all the dependencies, so it will not download. But in your system, you know, it will take some time and it will download. Then, and it will it will execute some test also. Okay, don't mind it if it will execute. Then, what you do, do a right click, go to Maven, and click on update project, click on force update, click on okay. So, your project is ready now. When you click on this, uh, Actually, when you uh, click on this, you can see that project like this. Okay, all the project has come. Now, any test you want to run. So, my test and this suit has uh, one test, or this guy has two tests, test three has only one test, right? Now, look at the SRC. Here, see everything has come in your system. These are the tests you have. Uh, these are the test scripts you have. So let's say I want to run test one. Just do a right click, run as test one. Right. So all the code will come in your system. See, it is running. Uh, okay. It says that some null pointer exceptions. So why it is saying that? Now click on that. 274. So here it says that null pointer exceptions. So go in the test one. So it is saying that null pointer exceptions. I will tell you why it is saying that. Uh, what I need to do, I have not in my test one, I have not added a before test because the before test is the one who will be responsible for initializing my all the data. Okay. I mean the person who has watched this was this video, he might be knowing that why i am writing a before test now if i run test one anyways guys the test one is just a dummy code okay 
you don't need to bother much just a dummy code uh, there is no actual implementation in this okay uh, this uh, test was designed just to show the reporting part so it's a, just a dummy code guys okay now let me close this yeah so just a dummy code guys you don't need to don't need to bother much your actual test is this guy login one this test okay this is your actual test and this test data provided test is actual test test registration is the actual test so these are your test you have now these are the suit file you have so see i am able to clone i am able to see all the code i can run that all the code okay so this test one test two guys it's a dummy code don't bother for that so that's how you can clone and that's how you can use my project you can see that everything has come in your system pom.xml uh the pom.xml whatever dependency it has everything came in your system now you can modify based on your requirement you can modify this project so that's how you can clone from the git repository thank you guys thank you for watching this hope this will help you to clone a lot of repository from the git okay not only my repository if you if it will help you in your company also to clone the project so thank you guys thank you for watching this please like my video and subscribe my channel